Hydroplaning happens when the tire on your vehicle lose their grip on a road surface and instead travel on a film of water sitting on top of the road. Hydroplaning dramatically reduces the driver's ability to steer or brake. Hydroplaning is caused by a combination of road conditions, vehicle speed, tread depth and vehicle weight. The intensity of the rainfall, type of road surface and drainage conditions play a crucial role in triggering conditions ripe for hydroplaning. Depending on the tire's tread depth and design along with the amount of water on the road, hydroplaning can occur at speeds as low as 55 km per hour. Hydroplaning is one of the most serious hazards for drivers. It can result in motorists losing control of car and crashing. 70% of the weather-related crashes happen on wet pavement and 46% occur during rainfall. It may not seem like it, but there is plenty you can do to avoid hydroplaning. Slow down if the roads are wet, reduce your speed by 10 to 15 km per hour or more if you see standing water. Don't use cruise control when the roads are wet. Instead, rely on manual control so you are constantly paying attention to the road. Steer clear of puddles and standing water. If possible, avoid driving through water that has pooled on the road. You may be inclined to turn the steering wheel in the opposite direction of where your car is sliding. However, that is not the right move. Instead, turn the wheel towards the direction your car is sliding. Inspect your tires. Take a look at your tires once a month to ensure the tread depth is at least 2 by 30 second of an inch. Properly inflate your tires. Underinflated or overinflated tires can increase your chances of hydroplaning. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you now have a better understanding of hydroplaning. Also, do like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.